Congratulations, Coach. What did you learn about your group of players in that second half? Well, I mean, those guys competed their butts off, man. I'm, I'm proud of them. I mean, when a team come in and make 21 threes on you, shoot 50, 53 percent, and like every time they shot that ball, it was going in. But we kept fighting. We kept sticking to our game plan. Uh, keep sh kept sharing the ball. Uh, got some timely rebounds when it counted. Some that we didn't get, but it was still still worked out for us in the end. But I thought the guys fought hard, and I'm uh, extremely proud of our effort. Which of the halftime adjustments you feel ma paid the biggest dividends for you guys? Well, I mean, I just think play, staying the course, continuing to be who we were. It wasn't a whole lot of adjustments. We came out and, you know, started to show a little bit on Watford. You know, he had uh, made some threes, four for five at the half, and we were blowing and, and wasn't getting back to him in time. So we decided to show on him, uh, you know, in the second half and were able to take him out of the game a little bit. But, you know, uh, Stone, a guy that, you know, you wouldn't typically think would come out and, and, and be a three-point shooter. He's more of a distributor. He does a great job of finding his teammates, but he made big shots for, him, for them tonight. Uh, and uh, but like I said, we we kept grinding, kept grinding, and, and found a way. Two guys that really stood out today. Will Sheehy was consistent from tip, but second half CJ really pitched in for you guys. Yeah, I mean you go down the list, man. I look at you know CJ had a good game. Will made shots for us. Uh, I think one of the bigger plays of the game was John Jordan come in and giving us some energy right there to, uh, to start the fourth. So I mean I think everybody contributed. It was a, truly a team win. Proud of these guys. Like we. Could have came in, like I said, and got gimmicky and feel, you know, figuring out a way to try to stop what they're doing. But we decided that we were going to be us, you know, continue to be us, continue to work on us. We're still a work in progress, but you know, we beat a you know team that had been playing really, really well. You know, just their first loss, so we got to we got to feel good about that. Um, I just want to ask you about Nigas quickly. He didn't really play that much today. Five minutes, his lowest all season. But what kind of strides has he made since the local tryout as a walk-on to this point in the season? Uh, I mean, that's just that's just a walk-on term, and I mean, he's not a walk-on. You know, what I'm saying it just happened that he went to the tryout and went through that process. But I mean, I look at him as a rotation player for us. But um, you know, some games we're going to shorten the rotation, and he could be the odd man out. Antoine Wiggins, a guy that can provide a spark for us. He had low minutes tonight. When we got guys. Going, going well. We're going to try to ride those guys. Uh, my, my, my job is to try to get a, a feel of who's playing well and whoever's playing well, I'm going to roll with. And I think our team understands that. They accept that. And I mean, that's who we are. And just as a part of the team, when he is on the bench, he seems to be the most enthusiastic. He's one of the first guys up cheering everyone on. That's just a testament to his character. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's a great kid. I mean, I think we have a lot of great kids on our team. I don't think anybody here um, is pouting and sulking about not getting the minutes. I mean, good luck. I talked to him uh, today. I was like, man, you know, I just just hang in. John, you know, did again, being ready. You know, he sat for three quarters and, you know, came in and gave us a little little spark there. So, I mean, that's who we are. I think our leaders set the tone for us. Uh, Fred, um, you know, EJ, those guys are our team guys. They stress team, you know, throughout everything we do. So I think that's a, that's a real positive for us when we got those type of guys that's that's leading the way. Thank you. Coach, do you know yet if Fred and Bruno are hitting the road with you guys? Uh, I don't. I don't. Unfortunately, not. You know, I think they. You know, I'm, but I'm. I'm gonna try to call somebody between now and and and, and maybe, maybe maybe not tomorrow night's game, but hopefully somewhere we can get those guys down with us because I mean they. I, I think they feel you know really part of this group. You know, Bruno had a good game tonight. You know, and, you know had a good rhythm. You know, felt like he was you know, had a better feel for what was going on out there. So I think our film session, you know, taking it to them. They weren't with us at the film session yesterday, but uh, David Gill was able to go down there and show them some of the mistakes they made the game before. So it's uh, we will do whatever it takes to make sure that he continues to um, to contribute and, 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 and be live a live body like he was tonight. Bruno's uh, mixed, Miss Duncan, the first looked like it took more out of you than it did of him. Oh, my, that's yeah, but that's, I know it happens. But I, that, that one was down in the hole. I thought that yeah. one's down, man. But I mean, it's just one one of those plays, man. Like that at the right there at the end, you know, those rebounds. I'm not. I decided to do it, but I'm not a big fan of fouling up three because um, those are the type of plays that happen. They free throw, they miss two, and you get a scramble for a rebound, and you could actually not only tie the game but could lose the game if they tap it out and somebody hits a three. So that's that's one that I was, you know, kicking myself a little bit. I mean we're all getting better. I think, you know, when Fred got trapped there, I had two thirties that I maybe could have called there. So 
it's uh, we're, we're all developing, for, for, to say the least. Did you go up the foul because of how well they've been shooting the three, or just your feel for for that situation? Well, actually, you know, uh, you know Nate suggested it, and you know, with everything going on, I was like, okay, you know, I, I think because I saw that they were looking to, to post and trying, and that's a, a great play. You post up, everybody kind of gets distracted at the post up, and then you can get somebody to lose for a three. So once he he had his back to the basket, we went on and fouled him, and uh, it worked out for us. Like I said, it's you know, you could. You know, half a dozen times it works, half a dozen times it doesn't, but you know, fortunately for us, it worked tonight. You held them to 21. You forced 21 tor- turnovers as a team. And much of those were in the second half. Did you ca- kind of make an, a defensive adjustment in the second half? No, we were it? active. I mean, I think we had 11 deflections in the first quarter. We came back and had 11 in the third. So we were, we were really active. Uh, wasn't so much in the in the second quarter, but in the first and third quarters, we were really active. So we wanted. We, that's a big sign of how well we're playing if we're able to get deflections. I mean, we're we're active. Guys are moving not only their bodies but their hands and, and making it tough on the offense. 